What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Finally, nine months later after announcing it, Google Assistant is finally available on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 series. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, obviously this watch was announced nine months ago. We're almost on the verge of the Galaxy Watch 5. All of those leaks are starting to come to fruition. But finally now, Google has made it so that you can actually use the Assistant right on the Galaxy Watch 4. And you can see it's pretty responsive. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to set it up and kind of some of the tips and tweaks to have it set to default, like by pressing that home button and all that. So first things first, in order to get the app, the easiest way to do it is as always, go to the Play Store and do a search for a Google Assistant or just Assistant. What's weird is what you're gonna see here is that it's going to show the device isn't uh, compatible with this version. However, you will see once you install it, it already shows it's installed on my Galaxy Watch 4. So having said that, just go ahead and go into Google Play, type in Assistant, first option that comes up, click on it, and you'll see we currently have it installed. Once it is installed, you don't have to hit open or do anything of that nature. The screen you saw that we were looking at already was in regards to specifically the watch. <clears throat> so once you download it, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and pick up your Galaxy Watch 4 and jump into settings. As you can see in your list of options here, you can press Google, you'll have a new option for Assistant. Click on that and this is how you will enable Hey Google to automatically kick in and you can see how quick that response actually is and how well the voice to text is truly coming in. Cancel that. One of the other settings is actually how to hardwire that button in. And for that you're going to want to actually go to custom keys after you go to settings in general. Select that and this will show you the double press or press and hold options. I changed the press and hold to assistant and you can see that's how that was enabled. Pretty quick, pretty easy to be honest with you. The other option is how to set the Google Assistant to default in the first place. And what you're going to do from that is actually again go into settings, go into apps, and you're going to want to choose your default apps. So when you click on that, you can see the digital assistant app. You'll go ahead and press that. That's probably set to uh, Bigsby by default. Just go ahead and select assistant and you'll be off to the races with that. That is really it and you are good to go. And then all you need to do, press and hold. What's the weather like today? And there you go. Uh, so it's a much better iteration over what it was prior and when it was failing in the past without being able to be set as default as the old Galaxy watches were. The old processors were just too slow and all that. So yeah, I'm excited. Not quite a Pixel watch, but that's coming too. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys setting the Assistant as your new default on your new Galaxy watches? Thumbs up this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.